Today, we're diving into something pretty cool. Let's talk about how you can build a custom AI expert, one that actually understands your company's documents, inside and out. We're gonna take that huge mountain of text and turn it into an intelligent assistant you can just talk to. So have you ever felt completely lost in just a mountain of documentation? I mean, we've all been there, right? You're deep into a project and you know the answer you need is buried somewhere in, what, hundreds, thousands of pages of internal wikis, guides, and all that stuff? And it's such a frustrating feeling, isn't it? The knowledge is right there, but it's totally locked away. You end up spending hours just searching, clicking, and nothing. You still come up empty-handed. It's a massive drain on your productivity, on your momentum. But what if, what if, you could just ask? Seriously, imagine instead of all that searching, you just open a chat window and type, hey, how do I configure the new deployment server? And poof, you get an instant, accurate answer that's pulled directly from your company's own information. Well, that's exactly what we're going to walk through today. All right, so here's our game plan. We'll start with the problem, the documentation dilemma. Then we'll get into the fun part, building our digital apprentice. We'll cover its intensive study session, how we keep its knowledge fresh, and how we finally open up the help desk for your team. And stick around, because at the end, we'll look at taking it to the next level with live data. So let's talk about the documentation dilemma. What's the real problem here? Well, a ton of super important company knowledge is written in formats like restructured text, or REST for short. Now, this stuff is great for developers. It helps them build beautiful documentation websites. But for a regular person trying to find something, it's not so great. It's like the information is locked in a vault that only a specific key can open. So, to pick that lock, we're not just going to run some script. We're going to do something way cooler. We're going to build and train what I love to call a digital apprentice. Just think of it like a brand new hire, a really smart one. And we're going to give it one job and one job only, become the absolute world's leading expert on our company's documentation. Okay, so here's the four-step blueprint. First, we've got to set up our workshop. We'll use tools like Google Colab and GitHub for that. Step two, we take all those messy documents and turn them into clean, crisp textbooks for our apprentice. Then step three. The real magic happens, the study session. This is where the AI actually learns. And finally, step four, we deploy our new expert on a platform like Hugging Face so the whole team can start using it. All right, now we're getting to the really cool part, the intensive study session. And let's be clear, we are not building an AI from scratch. I mean, that would take a crazy amount of resources. No, what we're doing is much smarter. We're taking a powerful, already trained model, something like GPT-2, and giving it a very focused, very specialized education. Think about it this way. A standard model like GPT-2 is a generalist, right? It's read a huge chunk of the internet, so it knows a bit about Shakespeare, a bit about quantum physics, a bit about everything. It's a smart apprentice, for sure. But we're gonna take that general smarts and narrow its focus, turning it into an expert apprentice that knows absolutely everything there is to know about our documentation. That's the goal. And this whole process has a name. It's called fine tuning. Going back to our apprentice analogy, this is the moment we hand our new hire that big stack of textbooks, you know, our cleaned up company docs. And we say, okay, study these. This is your entire world now. The AI literally adjusts its internal wiring, its neural network to master this new, very specific information. And you wanna know the best part, the real magic of modern AI libraries? After all that setup, all that data prep, the entire intensive study session gets kicked off with one single command, trainer.train. That's it. That one line of code tells our apprentice to hit the books and the transformation from a know-it-all generalist to a focused specialist begins. Okay, but here's a thought. Documentation is never finished, right? It's always changing. New features get added, procedures get updated. A one-time expert is good, yeah, but an expert that keeps learning, that's what's great. So our digital apprentice needs a continuing education program to stay sharp. And how do we do that? Well, it looks a little cryptic, but we do it with this one line of code here. This is a cron job. Now don't let the name scare you. Just think of it like setting a recurring alarm on your phone, but instead of waking you up, it wakes up a computer program. This is the secret sauce for keeping our apprentice's knowledge totally fresh. And what that code is saying is pretty simple. Hey, 
Every 15 days, I want you to rerun the entire training process. That's it. So automatically, our apprentice basically goes back to school, rereads all the latest documentation, and updates its brain. Nobody has to lift a finger, and its knowledge just never gets stale. It's awesome. All right, so our apprentice is trained. It's got a study schedule. It's ready. Now it's time to open up the help desk. We need to get this thing out there so the team can finally start asking it questions. Now, deployment can sound like a big, scary word, but platforms like Hugging Face make it shockingly easy. It's just a few steps. First, you create something called a space, which is basically a public home for your AI. Then you pick a tool like the Gradio SDK to build a simple user interface. And finally, you just push your trained model and the application files up there. And bam, in just a few clicks, your AI is live and ready to go. And this is what your team actually sees. No complicated code, no command lines, just a super simple, clean interface. A title, documentation assistant, a little description, and a text box. That's it. Anyone on the team can now just type in a question and get an expert answer from the AI we just built. It's incredibly accessible, and that's what makes it so powerful. Okay, so everything we've talked about so far has been about training our AI on static files, like text documents. But let's be real. A lot of a company's knowledge lives in more dynamic places, right? Like Confluence pages or Jira tickets. Well, we can absolutely take this to the next level and teach our apprentice to learn directly from those live data sources. What this means is you can write scripts that let your apprentice learn from these live sources. So instead of just reading a file, it can connect directly to a Confluence page via its API. It can learn to read the raw HTML, intelligently pull out the clean text, and even understand the structure of things like tables and lists. Just imagine. This makes its knowledge base as current as the very last edit someone on your team made to a wiki page. That's a game changer. So let's just step back and look at the journey we've taken. We started with a problem I think we all recognize. Super valuable knowledge just trapped and basically useless inside a sea of messy docs. And we walked through how to transform that mess into a living, learning AI assistant that gives you instant expert answers. The thing is, the power to do this is more accessible today than it has ever been. The tools are there, so I guess the real final question is for you. Think about it. Inside your organization, what crucial knowledge is locked away right now? What information is just waiting for a digital apprentice to come along and set it free?